we're going to be making what you just saw there and I used optical flares and I highly recommend you download it you could go to the link in my description which will lead you to another person's YouTube video of how to download it you don't need to download you can still do it but it won't look as good now it's a good start go to composition new comp doesn't matter what your settings are click OK go to layer new solid and name it flares I go to layer new text and I'm using MSP Gothic regular 52 and I'm just gonna write down my title now the way I got that cool looking text uh, go to here right click go to layer styles show all now if we go down here towards almost the very bottom is gradient overlay click on the little symbol so you can see it now click the arrow down go to edit gradient click on it and this should come up now click on this the white one over here and go down to about here I'm using no actually yeah I'm using 3d 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 highlight that right click copy click on this one over here the black highlight this right click and click paste now go towards the it doesn't matter if it's in the middle or not but just somewhere near the middle right there make that red now that doesn't look like what we saw but here's how I did it after you did that doesn't matter you could have it like a darker red but I'm just gonna keep it nah, I'm just gonna keep it there now click here and make this a little bit darker than what the outer one is and now click on one over here on the other side and make this also a little bit darker than the outer now click on the red one again and you see these little tiny diamond things on each side and drag them really close click on that again drag this one and then you should be getting something that looks like that you can move this over here if you want it more down up there I'm just gonna keep it right about there now click OK now minimize out of all this stuff drag that down and go to the flares layer and drag it above your text now go to effect video copilot and optical flares now if you don't have it and if you're not going to download it you could go to effects and presets and type in lens flares drag that on and then you have this or you could go over here and there's three different ones They're really crappy I don't like them but for people that did download this go to effect video copilot optical flares go on options go down to natural flares go down go up to where is it uh, right here rim light click on that click over here where it says global color and make it red click OK now go down to glow I'm just gonna lower it just a little to around 64 and that one I'm gonna keep at around 30 now click OK now I should have this now this is here but you don't see the text so go over here where it says on black and go to on transparent now you see the text and this is over the text now I'm going from one side to the other take this little middle thing put it up near the red line through the text have that about there and now after you're done with that, 
you want to go up to here where it says position x y click on the stopwatch make sure you're at zero then I like to go about 20 frames and just drag this all the way across about here you don't want to go all the way but go about there and now if you go back you should have it going through it's going to go really fast but don't worry it'll look good now lock that and click on your text layer go over here to the rectangle tool click on it and go where the light is over here and just make a box like that now if we go down to here where it says mask bring it down go to where it says mask path and click on the stopwatch now go to your selection tool click on that and double click on one of the squares on the box so it turns up white like this now go to 20 frames and click on this again and drag this wait try grabbing it and drag it over like that right to where the light is don't go past the light don't go before the light right where the light is and if you minimize out of all that then you should have that going like that revealing the text now you have that but then it just stays there which is boring and it doesn't look it doesn't look good so what you want to do is you want to go about four seconds you could unlock the flares layer click on the flares layer and just drag this out about there so that's almost touching the edge but not completely now we have this where comes out really fast and then that just slowly goes out like that but the text is staying still and it doesn't look good like that so you could lock the flares layer again click on this bring it down and click over here where it says animate click on that and then go to tracking highlight the stopwatch here where it says tracking amount and go to about where it's first being shown where you see your last letter showing up and just put a little keyframe at that now go to about here which I already have keyframes here you don't want that so just click on it and click backspace backspace and right here you want to make this around negative four so what you have now is this comes in and then slowly it backs away now it may be a little too fast so instead we may want like negative three I think yeah I'm gonna do negative three so it's ever so subtle it's just moving but it makes it look a lot better now after that go to right where this is alright you do need the you need to click on the flares again so unlock it click on it and go where it says brightness click on the stopwatch alright now you hit page down now bring this to 101 click enter and then hit page down about 10 more times and then bring the brightness all the way up to where the white just covers you don't want to go all the way or else it will go too fast go it to where the white just covers and now render it and then once you render it is what it should look like So as you see, you have it coming in like that, and then that goes nice and slow. You can see the text going in, and that's pretty much it.
uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. Please subscribe. And yeah, that's it. All right. Bye.